Hello, Growth Mensid enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of project management, specifically focusing on the FIDIC contracts framework. If you're involved in construction or infrastructure projects, or even if you're just curious, this is a video you won't want to miss. We've spent countless hours researching and analyzing to bring you a comprehensive breakdown of a flowchart that outlines the checklist for handling variations under Clause 13.3. The dedication and hard work that went into creating this content were immense, all to ensure you get the best information possible. Let's start from the very beginning. Every construction project is bound to face changes. These changes, or variations, kick off our process. The first step is the receive variation request stage. This is where a request for a change in the project scope is received. Now, once this request is in, the next pivotal step is to determine how this variation has been initiated. It could either be through an instruction or a proposal. If the variation comes from an instruction, we refer to subclause 13.1 of the FIDIC contract. But, if it's initiated by a proposal from the contractor, then subclause 13.3 is our reference point. Based on the initiation method, the contractor either executes the variation as per the given instruction, or submits a detailed proposal for the variation. This proposal outlines the changes, the reasons for the changes, and any potential impacts on the project's timeline, costs, or other factors. Once that's done, it's time to determine the value of this variation. This is where subclause 13.3 comes into play again guiding us on how to assess the costs, time implications, and other factors associated with the variation. But what if there's a disagreement? Well, any disputes are referred to the Dispute Adjudication Board, or DAB, under subclause 20.4. They review the issue and provide a decision, and with that, the variation process is complete. It's a structured approach that ensures variations are managed effectively and in line with the FIDIC contracts guidelines. Our team at Growth Mincet Company has put in countless hours to bring this content to life. We truly believe in empowering our community with knowledge, and we hope this breakdown serves you well. For a more detailed look at the material related to this video, head over to our website www.wisdomwavashub.com. The link is right there in the description below. Now, let's address some frequently asked questions we've received about this topic. What is the FIDIC contract framework? FIDIC stands for the International Federation of Consulting Engineers. It's a set of international standards for construction contracts. The framework provides guidelines and best practices for various aspects of construction projects, including variations. Why is managing variations so important in construction projects? Variations can have significant implications on project timelines, costs, and overall success. Managing them effectively ensures that the project stays on track and within budget. How often do variations occur in typical construction projects? It varies based on the project's complexity and size. However, almost every construction project will face some variations due to unforeseen conditions, design changes, or other other factors. What if the contractor and engineer can't agree on the valuation of a variation? In such cases, the matter is referred to the Dispute Adjudication Board DAB, for resolution. How does the FIDIC contract framework ensure fairness in handling variations? The FIDIC framework is designed to be balanced, ensuring that both the contractor and the employer have clear guidelines to follow. This ensures that variations are handled transparently and fairly. Are there any real-world examples where the FIDIC framework was crucial in managing variations? Absolutely! Projects like the Crossrail in the UK, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, and the Panama Canal expansion have all utilized the FIDIC framework to manage variations effectively. I hope that clears up some of your queries. Remember, by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications, you'll be the first to know when we release new videos packed with valuable insights. And trust me, you don't want to miss out on the wealth.